Alrighty guys, so we're going to get right into this video. So as you can see, I'm using High Colors by L'Oreal. Now all the colors and the items I'm using will be in the description box. Um, you're going to need some gloves. As you can see, I have white nails and I do not want to get those dirty or any red paint on those. Now as I'm setting up, I'm going to give you a brief little... Um, background knowledge on what's going on keep it pretty simple for you guys now I am using two different colors and now on the back of the box it doesn't really tell you um, what the ratio of developer to the color is but typically you're wanting to get a nice thick consistency so it's about two to one ratio but it's very hard to measure without measuring tools I've done this before many times that's why I'm kind of eyeballing it but you can't really mess up as long as it's not watery and it's not too thick um, you should be fine but I wanted to go ahead and dye my hair red but I was trying to get as little as damage as possible now this video I'm going to show you exactly what to do and what not to do I wanted a very vibrant color and in order to get that on black hair unfortunately you will have to lighten your hair I was trying to avoid that and it made the process much longer because I had to go back and actually bleach my hair so I'm going to really fast forward through this part but if you do like the desired color of red then you can actually follow these steps and get that and you shouldn't have any problems but if you're wanting more of that vibrant red then stay tuned we're going to kind of speed through this process and i'm going to show you exactly what i did to get that color Alrighty, guys so i'm using two different colors because I don't like when my hair is one solid tone of color. I like variation and depth, which is why I'm using the two colors. And there's no particular way. I'm just putting it where I want, where I want like lighter shades to be. And I'm just evenly distributing that throughout my hair in four sections I put my hair in. Now, I'm actually going to speed through this process because it's pretty simple. Now, as you can see in the video, I did not touch my roots. Um, I did want to keep my roots black. I just wanted kind of an ombre, but I end up at the end actually dyeing my entire head red. I decided to go ahead and do the whole thing red later. But I'm going to speed through this and we're going to go ahead and watch me color the hair. All right, guys. So now we're at the top of the head. I know you can kind of not see this. I do apologize, but... Um, I'm just finishing off the way I've been going in sections, saturating the hair, making sure that I got enough product in each strand and making sure that my head is totally covered. Now, I am going to go ahead and let y'all see the actual results of this coloring. It did come out to a pretty red color. Um, and like I said, if that is the color that you were going for, then by all means, you're at the end of the process. But if you're wanting a more vibrant red then please stay tuned and then i will show you exactly how i got that also i did leave the color on for about an hour i think the box says 30 minutes but i wanted to make sure that the color was vibrant and that it sat long enough i did sit under a heated dryer as well for about 15 to 20 minutes um I sat on the dryer and then I just went on about my day for an hour and then I watch I washed this out I added conditioner and then I rinsed it and then you will get to see the final product so this is how my hair came out after using that color I blow dried it I actually washed it just conditioner and I blow dried it but it's not the color that I want so I went back and picked up I don't know if you can see this
So this is what my hair looks like after we did the second color process. I don't know if you can really see that, but I'm going to take my hair down. Alrighty guys, so as you can see my hair came out so good, but this is not the color that I want. I want my hair to be more of a fire red, so what we're going to do is we're going to stop playing with colors now and just bleach this bad boy. So I did not go ahead and videotape this process, but I did take pictures. So I did go ahead and put bleach on the red, as you can see here, and I didn't let that sit on too long at all. After it got to this color, I did go ahead and rinse that out and I applied the Adore. I mixed it with Crimson and Ruby and I got this beautiful color. And then I curled my hair in perm rods to get this style. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed it and you will get more videos really soon. Y'all have a great and blessed day. Bye guys.